Hello, and, and welcome to my channel. I'm Mark Brooks. Yeah, and uh, the purpose of this video is uh, you may uh, have weeds around your property that you uh, use a you know, weed killing spray such as Roundup to kill them, but you may be concerned about harmful chemicals that may, may be harmful to your health. For example, Roundup has a uh, its ingredients called glyphosate, which uh, can cause Lund Hodgkin's lymphoma. And if you've seen uh, law firm ads on TV saying if you have a loved one have used uh, Roundup and have suffered Dunn Hodgkin's lymphoma from using Roundup, you may be entitled to a cash settlement. So, what about a very safe uh, weed spray, which you can make at home using three simple ingredients you have in your kitchen? Won't cost but uh, maybe two dollars a quart to make, and there's no uh, no no uh, no no uh, no known no, no harmful effects on your health using it. So let's kind of get to it. What are these three ingredients? Here are the three ingredients. Vinegar, salt, and dish soap. One quart of vinegar, a half cup of salt, and one tablespoon of dish soap. And we'll mix together, we'll put it in a spray bottle. Yeah, and I'll put it to work. I'll spray one sample of weed and we'll check it later and see the results. Okay, here I'm using a two quart container to mix a uh, spray mix in. We'll pour it into one quart of uh, vinegar. Okay. Next, the uh, half a cup of salt and one tablespoon of uh, dish soap. And we'll have to keep mixing this until the salt is completely dissolved. So, so using this uh, spatula, we'll just keep stirring it until the salt is completely dissolved. It's going to take a while because that uh, you can see some undissolved salt crystals, crystals at the bottom of the uh, container, so I'm going to pause this video and then we'll, until it's fully dissolved, then we'll get back later. Okay, I've been stirring for about two minutes, so it's ready to uh, use, and I'm going to pour half of the uh, mixture into the uh, vinegar bottle for storage. Notice I have the bottle marks weed spray, so I won't be it won't be confused for anything else. And the other half. I'm going to put that in this in a spray bottle to uh, now it's ready to use and then tomorrow I'll spray it on a uh, one particular weed and uh, leave other weeds surrounding it unsprayed for comparison to, and we'll check the results one day later. Okay, here I'm going to try the uh, weed killer on just this one weed you see in the middle of the screen. Spray that one only and we'll leave the other weeds around here unsprayed for comparison. So, you want to shake the bottle well before using it because the salt will tend to separate. So we'll spray this weed. Spray the end, spray all the leaves thoroughly. Then we'll check back later to see how it does, how it responds. Here's the same weed just uh, one day after and uh, showing a lot, a lot of results. It's uh, now uh, turning pale and even uh, wilting somewhat. So compared to those uh, surrounding weeds, which still look healthy green, this weed is definitely dying off. It's showing how effective this uh, uh, homemade weed killer actually does work. There you are, interesting results for just uh, two dollars worth of uh, ingredients, making one quart of uh, weed spray and, and and I hope you found this uh, video interesting and you would like to uh, try out this uh, mixture, mixture as well. I'm sure you will be impressed and glad you did. So again, I'm Art Brooks uh, and uh, thank you, thanks for, so much for watching.